All right, I got it. Ah. So this is what I have in my computer. Okay. So you want me to read it? Yes. Okay, let's see. This is the first time. Mishabera, Chavotenu, Avraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Moshe, Yaharon, David, U Shlomo, Hu Yerape, Ed. What's your husband's name? Avraham ben Rachel. Avraham ben Rachel. No, Avraham. Oh, Avraham ben. ben Rachel. Yeah. Is that Michal or Rachel? Rachel. Okay, Aaron ben Rachel. Rachel. All right, Ba'avor she Aaron ben his father's name. His father's name. Oh, Shlomo. She Aaron ben Shlomo. Yitain b'li neder litzdaka b'avoro v'schar ze hakadosh baruchu yimale rachamim alav. Lahalimo, Ula Rapoto, Ula Hahaziko, Ula Hazi Ha, Ula Hai Oto, Vaishlach, Lo Mehera, then Rasvas, Rifua, that's healing, Shlema, complete, Mina Shamayam, Nirme Adonai, A Barav. The Shama Adonai Gedav Betoch Sha'ar Chole Yisrael Refuat Hanefesh or Fuat Hagu Ben Omar Amen. May he who blessed our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Moses, and Aaron, David, and Solomon heal Aaron Ben Rachel um, because Marsha. <laughs> who pledged charity for the sake of the sick person, uh, and that of him pledged charity without a vow for his sake. In his merit, may the Holy One, blessed be he, be filled with mercy for him, to restore him to health and to cure him, to strengthen him and to invigorate him. And may he hasten to send him from heaven, a complete recovery to his 248 bodily parts and 365 veins, among the other sick people of Israel, a healing of spirit and a healing of body. And let us say, Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you. So, you know, there's usually, nothing like a little, a little Jewish guilt to get yeah. you to figure out how to do this, right? Yeah. Um, usually when somebody is sick and you just want to give them a, you want to say something nice to them, you say, um, Rufua Shlema. Rufua is healing. Rufua. Like Shalom is completeness. Shlema. Rufua Shlema. That would be the shortened version if you don't want to say like get well. Rufua oh, Shlema. Rufua Shlema. Rufua Shlema. And in the blessing when it says. Shlema. Shlema. Yeah. Rufua Shlema. Rufua. Rufu. Rufua. Rufua. Shlema. 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 So when you Rifua say Shlema. So that if you hear somebody is sick and you're talking to them, you say, oh, Rifu'a Shlema. That means, and then the prayer talks about, and this is what I like very much in this prayer. It talks about Rifu'at Haguf, healing of the body, and Rifu'at Ruach, and the healing of spirit. So yes. if you're depressed or if you're physically ill, it covers all bases, and it's uh, it's so that's a uh, some very beautiful wording there. Okay, Carol, do you Thank have you. all the participants? Do you have the whole listing? Um, let's see. All right, participants, let me attendance, and we'll get started. Okay, Thanks. I have Lean. I have Carol. Okay, Carol Fisher. Charlene, okay, uh, Esther, okay, we have Marsha, I think I had Marsha Fleming, I had Marsha, got you, all right, and let's see, anybody else, Elaine, 
Okay, Elaine. I got Elaine. Um, Ella. Um, Faye. Yes, so we got Faye. Jackie. Got Jackie. Okay. Robin. Okay, Robin, Robin, Robin. We got Robin. All right. And Susan. I'm here. Susan. Susan, how are you feeling? How's your allergy? Oh, my, much better. I mean, it was just, it was horrible. I never had right. an allergy thing that bad, but I'm, I'm much better. Oh, I, by well, the end of the good. evening, I was fine. So. Sue, you made it. Huh. Okay. So I, I have. I did. Yay. Wow. Well, it's going to be interesting. I will tell you. Okay. So anybody else will, will come on and we'll catch everybody. All right, so um, we're going to start for the next couple of weeks because somebody asked me a few questions. I'll answer them. Number one, I was requested to do vowels, even though it's a pain in the thuckus. <laughs> I I did it on the email, and then I have to um, I have to print that and then put the vowels in and scan it again. But I did, it. so I will put the vowels in. I know uh, it's not easy with some of these words. So that was one request. Another one was, could we do the mourner's cottage? I don't know if we're gonna have time. If we do, we will do it. But because this is a little bit of a difficult prayer and uh, what else was I asked? Not to take attendance at the very beginning. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. I'll take another like uh, 1.30. I'll check and see who else is here. I was asked about uh, God's name which I'll wait a little bit until everybody's in and I'll address that question. I did a little research, interesting question. Somebody asked me, when is the last class? That's June 4th. So with today, after today, I think we have about five more classes. That's why I can't go backwards too much. Um, like I can't do the hand washing. I mean, I'll, I'll squeeze in the morning's cottage, very important, we'll, we'll try to squeeze that in. But I am supposed to cover now highlights of Kabbalat Shabbat, Friday night service. And Carol, if people want to come in on the Tuesday class and the practice that I do, we can Great. go over it then. There's a bunch of us who are dedicated coming every Tuesday. Perfect. And, and I, I appreciate that. Somebody, somebody okay. also asked me what book was I using? The book, uh, the book is called Shalom Aleichem by Noah Glinken. Rabbi Noah Glinken, uh, this book was sent to us as an email, the whole text in the beginning of the beginner's Hebrew class. So if there are some students who have just come in and we're going to be using some pages from that book because uh, towards the end of the book, he covers um, Kabbalat Shabbat, the Psalms. So if you want, that you can uh, request that from Julia, Julia Loeb, and I'm sure she'll send it to you. This uh, particular page is I'm going to do today, page 63 and 64. Mm -hmm. I, did a, Tomorrow. I did a little cut and paste. And um, the verbs, I, I did the vocabulary myself. And the other page of translation says Kabbalah Shabbos. You can figure out where that came from. I have a big book that was given to me, I think as a gift from my from the Hebrew school where I taught. And it has translations of all the prayers. Now I looked at the translation in uh, Lev Shalem, the one with the red cover and the gold letters, which I have. And I looked at the translation in, uh, I looked at the translation also in um, Sim Shalom. I didn't like either one. Uh, they're really not 100% real translations. They are poetic. They're kind of paraphrases. So I decided to uh, look up the words uh, at that, that I thought were key, verbs and nouns, and to give you my own list and, and go from this translation because this translation is the most authentic. Carol, so, I, I took your first two sentences and I put it in Google 
And I found the translation that you gave us. Yeah, well, you found that. Good. One. Yeah, yeah, because this this one um, I like. This is actually like a word for word translation. It's not paraphrase. It's not fancy language. It tells you what it is. It's 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 what it is. And when I do Torah reading or whatever, if I don't know words, I look them up to know exactly if it's a, an idiom or what exactly is the text saying. And and sometimes it gives you a completely a, like a different sense of the text. So uh, was, I'm starting with Havilat and I, and if you're looking at the page 63, um, that's the name of Psalm 29. There are about um, six other psalms, so it's about seven psalms that make up Kabbalat Shabbat. Now, does anyone know what Kabbalat Shabbat means? Anybody know that? Well, you know what Shabbat means. Mm -hmm. So does anyone have an idea? It comes from the root, the word. Welcoming? Well, very good. Who's that? Who said that? Helene. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, it's like welcoming. Very good. Specifically, it means receiving kabbalat from the verb lekabel. Very good, Helene. So it's receiving the essence, the resting of Shabbat. And these six psalms, seven psalms, one for each day of the week, uh, like let's let's rejoice let's let's sing it gives you the feeling of starting of shabbat from friday night to saturday night when it kind of tapers off okay with havdalah so this second word on an uh from the the ditto which says uh havu which means um acclaim la dona you would pronounce that la donai because the la you pronounce and the hey with that slash mark remember that stands for hashem but we we could say havu hashem or we could say havu la and the hey with that slash mark is adonai so when you put it together with the la you have ladonai havu ladonai okay so that's still the way we refer hand to raised carol hand still, yeah do we oh. have your hand raised do you have um do you have this on screen, Helene? Yeah, it should be on the screen from the prayer book, page 63. Can you see it? No, no. it's not. Oh, no, you just, no you have, it's okay. highlighted. Oh, it's no, you, it, you, you have to see. click on it now. All right, Sue, you have a question. You see it now? Yes. Yep. yes. Thank you. All right, so you see the Havu Ladunai? All right, now the this page. Did you comes, want me to ask the question, Carol? Yep, I do. Okay, I'm sorry. Just Kabbalah. You know the word Kabbalah, like Kabbalah, right. Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. Are they related? Yes, yeah, same root. Oh, but different oh, words. Uh, different words, Kabbalah. Okay. Yeah. Thank that's you. like the mystical receiving, the essence of God, Kabbalah. That's from the mystics, like Isaac Luria. So we have Havilah Dunai. This occurs right before Lachadodi, which is at the end of the Kabbalat Shabbat service. And um, it's very poetic. There are a lot of striking images and you can feel, it gives you the essence or the presence of God's, of, of God's being. And there's a lot of references to nature. But before we go on, I have a question for all of you. And I want, I would like all of you to actually respond. So I a lot of times think of a question that I would like to um, ask the question. So that's the question that I had was, what words would you give, and you've all been in services and you've heard in English and in Hebrew uh, praises of God, many prayers, what words would you give to describe God? How would you just, so I'm looking for adjectives or nouns, however you would describe God. How would you describe him? Okay, so let's see. We have to have some kind of order here. So let me 
Let's see if I can see you. All right. Sue had her hand. All right, Sue, your hand is still up. So how about you? How would you describe God? <laughs> um, <laughs> all present. And I, I didn't mean to keep my hand up. So sorry, but all present. All present. All right. So there is a word that's used in, in some of the uh, prayers. Omnipresent. And all-knowing would be omniscient. All-present. All-knowing. I don't think they're the same. All-present is... The spirit is with you and omniscient is that, that, that God knows everything. Okay. Um, let me see if I, anybody else? Identify yourself because I can't see your pictures right Robin. now. Robin. 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 Uh, mighty. Mighty. Okay. All right. Somebody else. Good. And I was Charlene. Helene. Helene. Who? Faye. Faye. Compassionate compassionate very nice okay some more and I, Charlene. I, okay forgiving forgiving, forgiving. compassionate yeah. forgiving very nice okay and I, with along with robin said mighty i was thinking powerful which is mighty and powerful, powerful okay and and you know like we were uh, doing last week that um that there were lines that divided and the first part was echoed or repeated in the second part. And so you had a lot of synonyms there. So you can have, you'll have mighty and powerful and all knowing and all powerful. You're gonna have a lot of the words that, that will echo each other. Okay. Um, what I found, it said in the 16th century in Spot, that was the place of Isaac Luria and the mystics. They used to begin Friday night services with this song. Later on, it took a different um, position in the service. All right, and it said that uh, the phrase kol Adonai, the voice of God is repeated seven times and it said to re represent the seven days of the week. Okay, anybody else wanna describe um, God or God's presence? Truthful. Ex what was that? Truthful. Truthful, all right, and we emet, the word emet appears in, in a lot of, uh, emet means you know, like you say in Yiddish, emes. The truth, truthful. Merciful. Okay. Merciful. All right. Compassionate, forgiving, merciful, truthful. All right. So these are all wonderful qualities that we would wish on our fellow humans, right? And we would wish for ourselves. So this page, we'll get started with, this is like a, a primer. Um, apparently the letter bet and vet was given like a page or two before. And now they're taking this prayer and they're using on the right hand side, they see bet, you're using phrases from Havolodunai, which have the letter bet. And that has a dagesh, and a, a dagesh is a dot. And on the left side of the line are phrases from Havolodunai, which have the vet, the, the vet. So the one with the dot is b, and the one without the dot is v, like a b and a v. So actually, that that I thought was a good reading practice. And these phrases are from the prayer and then we'll get to the prayer and we can sing it and we'll talk about the meaning, we'll talk about the vocabulary and we'll do all of that. Okay, so, and I don't see the line up here. I, I do have it, okay. All right, so with the, um, the bet, let's see, okay. Can you read, I'm gonna now increase the amount of, the first three lines from the bet side, from the right side. Okay, okay. yeah. B'nai Elohim. Well, it's not Elohim. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. El Elo mm -hmm. A. A -li El Elim. Correct. Elim. Elim. <clears throat> my <clears throat> Mayim Rabim. Good. Kol Adonai. Bakoach. All right, very good. Because at the end, remember when you have the letter Chet and you have the <coughs> patach, the straight line under it, at the end of a word, it's pronounced Ach. So she did it perfectly. It's Bakoach. Kol Adonai. <coughs> or if you said Kol Hashem, it's also good. Bakoach. Thank you. Okay. Um, Robin, can you take the next two lines? Which uh, Kol Adonai Behadar 
Hishkacha Gula Donai Behadrat Kodesh. Perfect. Excellent. Really nice. <clears throat> All right. Um, Sylvia, how about taking the last two lines? Ko Adonai Yechil Midbar. Good. That again. Ko Adonai Yechil Midbar. Okay. Yahil Adonai Midbar Midbar Kadesh. Kadesh. Mm -hmm. Kadesh. Okay, now if you could go down a little bit. Um okay, Helene, let's go. Oh, yeah, we have three more here. All right, let's uh let me see who can I uh Jackie, can you do those yeah, try three it. bottom lines? Okay. Havu La Didoi. Halva. Oh no. Sounds like halva. I like halva. Halva. Halva non. Halva non. Whenever you get nervous when you're reading, Break it into syllables. I do that when I'm um, reading something or I'm, I'm, I'm uh, taking a uh, Torah reading and there's new words. Vayishaber Adonai et Arze Halvanon. And the last line. Okay. Um, Adonai Lame Bu Bo Yashav. Okay, la ma bo yashav. All right, let's go to the left hand side. We're going to see the letter vet. Okay, um, Elaine, want to take the first two lines? Havu <clears throat> lai ladonai. Lad oh, I'm sorry, ladonai. No, sorry. Kavod va o va on. O's. Now that was, um, uh, Elaine, that was one of the last letters that we learned, the Zion, that was kind of later in the book. That La little O's. wiggly, wiggly thing, Va'oz, that's the Z sound. Havu Ladunai, Kavu Va'oz. And the next line, good, thank you. Keep going. Havu Adonai, Kavu. Ladonai, La. You have to pronounce the Lamed. Okay. Because the Lamed, okay, the Lamed has a meaning there. The Lamed, the He with the slash means Adonai, God. The Lamed means to, so it's a claim to God. To God. You know, like, okay, celebrate God. So it's Ladonai. Avu Ladonai Kavod Shemo. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Susan, take the next two. Um, okay. Um, El Hakavod. He is that a right? That's a race. Wait a second. The second, yeah, it's round, no. it's a race. Yeah, okay, it's faded on my sheet for some reason. He here, im good. Um, Cole Adenoy, shoot, um, show, show, ve, ver, mm -hmm. um, ara, zim. Good, and again, there's that wiggly one that's a Zion, ara, zim. Okay, that wiggle one. All right, very nice. Um, Est Esther. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, known. Mm -hmm. Vish see Visir Yon Kibmo Ben Re a meme. Good job. Next line. Oh, Zave La Ha. Give it more of a TZ. Save. Ho save. Okay. Ho save. Much better. La ha vote. Ish. Good. All right. Let's see who else I can make crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Carol. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, hi. How? Oof. Oof. Hi. Hello. 
Good. Did I see how she did that? She backed up and she went into syllables. U, he, ha, lo. U, he, ha, lo. Hello. <coughs> mm -hmm. Omer. Good job. Charlene, the last two. Okay. Um, Vashav. Okay, let's do syllables. Va, now you have a yud. What's underneath that yud? There's two dots. It's really blurry on my cup. I made it very big. I made it as big as I could on the screen. Okay, it's the two dots. It's called a tsere, and it has an A sound. So it's va, yay, yay. Va, yay. Va, yay. Shev. Shev, good. Adonai. Mm-hmm. Melech, La Olam. Good. Adonai, Yav, Borak, Yava, Yava, Rech. Mm-hmm. That's the final half. Yava Rech. Good. Et. Mm-hmm. Um, Mo. Mm-hmm. Ba shalom. Okay, it's nice. So the prayer ends on peace. Okay, so these are important phrases. And let's now go to so we'll put that aside. Let's take a look at the vocabulary. All right, because we're gonna be we're gonna be signaling these words out. We're gonna find them as we look at the actual prayer. Okay, so I divided into nouns. There were a lot of nouns and verbs. And can you see Carol, can you see it? Yes, we can. Yes. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. Some of these words are not like everyday words when you're speaking Hebrew. However, uh, they're words that are in prayer <laughs> and in the Psalms. Because don't forget the Psalms. <laughs> Bless you. Labriyuds. That means uh, to your help. Hello, <laughs> Davar. Hello, Davar means it ain't nothing. Hello, <laughs> Davar. That that uh, is a French uh, when you say uh, merci beaucoup. Il n'y a pas de quoi. There is nothing for which to thank. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of the same idea. So some of these words we may have seen before because I find that prayer vocabulary. Um, and Torah vocabulary is very repetitive. They use a lot of the same words. So first word is kavod. And we have had the expression way back when. Does anyone remember, uh, like if somebody gets an aliyah and um, they read really nicely and as they're coming back to their seat, you say to oh, them, the rabbi says kavod. It, he says it differently for a woman. Nice. Well, there's Yasha Koach, that's a different. Yeah, right. Yasha, 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 that would be Yasha Koach. Yeah, but Koheich. this is different. Yasha Koach yeah. Yasha Koach. Yasha Koach. Yasha Koach. But that's. But this that, is different. This is when you want to use the expression all honor to you. You say Kol HaKavod, and that's the same for men and women. And then when they say to you Yasha Koach or Yasha Koach, you say Baruch Tihye. Baruch Tihye. It's like Tihye. Tihye. Baruch to uh, may you be blessed. So it's like a, a, an automatic response, Baruch Tia. So kavod, kol ha kavod, kavod, honor. Now that next word is, so say them after me, kavod. 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 Okay, the next word, might, it's used in a lot of uh, poems to describe God. Oz. 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 Um, Oz. 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 Da, 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 oh, it's my, 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 my strength. Okay, so that's O's. Oh, shoot. Then we said before, Kol oh, there. is the voice, and Adonai, or Kol Hashem. And this is used in this prayer a bit, the voice of God, Kol Adonai. You hear this a lot. Okay, so then we have El. Say El. 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 Okay, that's in a lot of prayers. Almighty El means God. And the translation here, instead of God, they put another one. Like El is Al. So El, Almighty, maybe came to the translator's mind. 
just as a, a different word instead of Adonai or Hashem or Elohim. So El, you know, it's another praise, praising word. So Koach, Koach. So like you said, Yasher Koach. Okay, Koach, everybody, Koach. Koach. Koach in Yiddish, Koach. Wasn't there a false, a false, someone who's named Koach in the Bible? No, it's Korach. 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 Oh, thank Korach's you. Rebellion. Korach. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably Korach a Korach, Korach in there also. Aaron and Moses. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Korach. 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 Thank okay. you. So, Koach. Okay. So, the expression Yasher Koach means uh, your strength will grow. May your strength increase. Yasher Koach. So, like all these things that you hear, they really mean something. Okay. Um, Hadar, everybody, Hadar. 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 Okay, so this is again Hadar. It's a man's Hadar. name. I know a man. I thought Hadar. it was a woman's name. Oh, it's Hadar. a man's name. Yeah. Hadar. I know a man, a rabbi Hadar. It's also okay. the name of a group that you can study through online. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. All right, now, uh, they, you've heard about the cedars of Lebanon. So, Erez, Erez Valvanon, the, the Erez. cedars Erez. of Erez. Lebanon. Erez, Erez. 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 And again, there's a Zion, it's good practice for us. Erez, Erez, Erez. Erez. cedars, Erez. Tree. Erez. They're very tall trees in the mountains of uh, Lebanon. Okay, then we have Lebanon. 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 Okay, to the north of Israel. I remember. Is that the current Israel. way to spell Lebanon? Is there another way? I wouldn't think so. But in English, I didn't know that the spelling changed. Let me see. No, Lebanon. It's in the it's in the translation I gave you. So I copied, okay, yeah. I checked okay. it out. Okay, live on them. Okay. Now with flames, now there, there's going to be a part of this, which is very strange. So la havot, flames. Flames from a fire, la havot. And you wonder, you may now be wondering, where did these, why are we in the same prayer, the same song, we've got trees, we've got fire. Is there a forest fire going on? What the heck is happening here? So we have, yeah. La Havot, yeah. and then we have, there it is, Aish, fire, Aish, okay, and we have Midbar, Midbar. Midbar. as you see now, a lot of, now you're getting uh, a lot of um, geographic references, and you're getting a lot of nature references, right, we've got the cedars, we've got flames from the fire, we're in the desert, all right, so we've got we've got mountains and deserts and forests. We have so this is this is very strange, this whole thing. Now but is that the fire? That's not the fire from that that God had in uh, on the the Torah, I mean the ark. With the burning bush? It's not it's not, not the burning the bush, fire. but you know how uh, no, the, it's not the burning bush. It's not the burning, not the burning bush. bush, but you know oh, how on the oh. ark when they went, he always had a fire. The, no, it's not the, the, uh, the near tamid. The near tamid is the uh, eternal flame. We don't have this. Not the near tamid. Oh, okay. But you see, but it, it is a reference to Torah. It's a Torah yeah. reference. Yeah. Okay. You say okay. now in the Havdalah service too. Okay. So one of the Havdalah prayers is Asia. Uh -huh. Right. So we have Ya'ar is a forest, and I gave you the plural Ya'arot, Ya'arot, far forests. It's plural. The ot ending is feminine plural. The vav and the tav. Ya'arot. Ya'arot. So here we have the desert, and we have the mountains. We have everything. Now, um, hey, hey, Tal is usually. Use in the phrase hey hal kodshecha. Why is it why isn't it hey ho? Because it's not <laughs> <laughs> because the word call means all and there it is. And here it's the word 
Heichal. And the, the word is, like I said, followed by Kod <laughs> Shecha. Who am I to explain Hebrew grammar? <laughs> Heichal, Heichal, Kod Shecha, the holy, the sanctified oh, temple. This is a Jerusalem temple. This is the biggie. Okay. And now we have a flood. Oh, goody. We have water and floods. We have overflow. We have Mabul. Mabul. And uh, the flood in the time of Noah, that phrase is always Mabul Mayim, a flood of water. That's how they is refer it, to it in the Torah. Mabul Mayim. Is it Mabul or Mabul? V or B? V. Oh, this, oh, yeah. So I think here it's Mabul and not Mabul. Maybe I, I missed the Dagesh. I missed the Dagesh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Put a dot in. Put, a, put, that in. put, a, put the right. dot in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it should be Mabul. Yeah, Mabul, Maya. And that's when we talk about Noah. And then we got rid of everybody. Okay, so now action words. So, Havu, I looked it up many different ways from the English to the Hebrew. And there is a Hebrew verb, Lahavi, which means to bring. And I looked at the command. This must be a, a particular biblical form, Havu, because they have Haviu. Hey, view, but I didn't see Havu. But the translation says I claim, and I go, okay, that's what they said. That's what it means. The claim or praise. Now, you're not going to use this word a lot here in thunders. So now we're getting not only <laughs> visuals, but now we have sound effects here in. When I would teach the Ten Commandments, I would um, go to the uh, light switch. And I would flip the light switch on and off, and I go boom, 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 boom. And I would go <laughs> make lightning sounds and thunder. What the heck is going on? Thunder is Here best in. with a cookie sheet. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Take a cookie Hirim. sheet. Hearim. Hearim. Thunders. Hearim. Hearim. Okay. Now, the word breaks. Um, this is a regular word we use in uh, modern day Hebrew, shover, breaks. So we'll see what's breaking here. Show. Now, in this word, it's with a shin, and there's a dot over the shin that makes it show. All right? So it's the letter shin, and it's dancing partner. It's vowel is a dot. Sh o show. And it's not spelled with a, with a uh, vav. It's spelled like this. The root is shin, vet, resh. Doesn't have a vav. Chauvet, Chauvet. Mm -hmm. And then we have another one we're not going to use in everyday Hebrew. Chotze. Chotze. Car. So now you might be getting an idea of what's going on. Yachil. <laughs> tremble. All right. So now without looking at the translation, look at these words. We have flames and fire. Uh, we, we have uh, thundering, carving. Trembling. Does anyone have an idea what this is an allusion to? Can you put any of that stuff together? A sacrifice. No, but the. No, and God was mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's anger. All right. No, I would think that's the making of the earth. Oh, the making how about of Noah's the Ark? World. The making of the earth? Noah's the Ark, world. maybe? No, it's not the Mabul Mayim, not the flood, not, not creation. Well, I wasn't there. It could have been creation. I'm not that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think of it more as when um, they had the golden calf and God got angry. So it's a little Ooh. before that. You're on the right track. The golden Ten calf with the Kitsisa, that's the later. Ten commandment. Cars, trembles, thunders, right. making of the of the coming so down the people had to clean, wash themselves, and then no no um, sex for three days. The men had to keep themselves chaste, and the women they assembled at the foot of Mount Sinai, Har Sinai. Moses goes up to the mountain and disappears, and while he's there, he gets these he's two tablets engraved, carved <laughs> by fire with the Ten Commandments. And there was thunder and the people trembled when they heard the thunder. The thunder, And that's what it's referring to. It's the burning in, the searing in, the carving in stone, the hewing 
with a chisel, the Ten Commandments, the time on Mount Sinai, the giving of the Torah. So really something, huh? So this is so, this is like sound and, and, and light, this prayer. It's, it's like uh, got all kinds of sound effects. Any questions? Where was this going on? Was it going on yeah. out there? It was going on. The, 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 there was lightning. If you read the, I didn't uh, take the site, but if you read the um, Torah um, uh -huh. in Exodus, there was lightning and there was thunder. The people were, were trembling. They were terrified. Something awesome was going on. They thought Moses was going to die. They really well, did. Well, they didn't know where he was. I mean, he was absent. And then as somebody said about the golden calf was as a, as a result, you know, when he comes down and they're, and they're uh, dancing around yeah, and then he smashed the, the tablets and goes back up and gets the second ones. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of um, multimedia going on here in this. <laughs> it really is. A lot of action. Yeah, well, where, where is the sex part? <laughs> there isn't any. There there no, isn't there. no sex for three days. They washed their clothes and they were clean and, and they didn't kill meat. They, they uh, supposedly ate dairy. So you're not killing anything. And you know, like on Yom Kippur, why do you wear uh, sneakers, canvas? Because you're not supposed to uh, be killing anything. It's a time of repentance. You're not supposed to be thinking about slaughtering. That's like a very base kind of instinct, slaughtering. Well, this, is, this is very Shavuoti. Shavuoti and Yom Kippur. <laughs> and <laughs> well, right. well, the dairy, the dairy, dairy part. part. Right? Right? Carol, Carol, yes. Yes. could I back up a minute? When we started, we were doing the B and the V and the difference. Yep. And when I learned it, I learned that the dot in the B is a bean. So whenever you see the bean in the middle, it's a B sound. Great. Any that any really um, helps me. Right. Any way to remember it uh, is great. There's a dot in the middle of the B, of the P also. Oh. Uh, it's a P in the Ooh. middle. There's yeah. P in the middle. My word. <laughs> the P is in the middle of the P and the B is in the middle of the Oh, a P in the middle of the, okay, of the Fay. There's a, there's a P in the middle of the, Fay, do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> there's a P in the middle of the Fay. I don't know. <laughs> this is getting very brunchy. <laughs> and, and if you take the nun and you take the bottom of the nun and you pull it down straight, it becomes a final nun goes below the line. The daddy long legs. Yeah. All right. All right. Now let's let's take a look. So keeping these words in mind, and, and we 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 get a feeling that this is a very dramatic song. So, and these are written by David, by Melech David. All right. So now we have the words and now let's take a look at this. So um let me see. Is there somebody who would like to read this? Just read the whole thing so we get the whole gestalt, we get the whole feeling of it. Read it in English. What are we somebody? reading? What are we reading? Yeah, we're going to read uh, the English translation of this. Then we'll, English we'll, uh, translation, the one that you put up. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, is Alice here? No, no Alice today. And uh, Marilyn? No, I think she said she wasn't able to come. Okay. Okay, so this is what I think is the best translation. Oh, there's something else someone asked me to look up. I think that was Sue. You guys give me a lot of work to do. What did I ask I, Okay, someone asked me, <laughs> I don't remember. Somebody asked me about God's name and I found some really interesting, cool stuff about it. It wasn't me. <laughs> All right, who was it? Uh, was it Ella? No, oh. <laughs> wasn't me. Uh, wasn't Ella? <laughs> Somebody asked me about the difference between uh, in a book when they use the two yuds, which we say I don't know. I didn't ask, but I made reference to that this morning. Right? And who is that? Ella. Marcia? Ella. Ella. Yeah, I thought it was you. Okay, so I looked it up, and this is what I found. I found a quick, a, a quick thing of what I found. Um, first of all, in the Sim Shalom Sidur and in the Lev Shalem. They both use yud hey vav hey. They do not use the two yuds. Um, then I, I looked online and one rabbi said he was using a siddur that had chetzi vechetzi, 
some with yud hey vav hey for God's name, and some with the two yuds. And so he referred to the editor's idea that they look at prior prior editions of prayer books, older prayer books, and they just followed uh, when they found a prayer and it had two yuds, they incorporated that. If they found a prayer from, from an older book that had the yud vav hey, they did that. So that was an editorial thing. Now, this is a thing you, you should know. The word tetragrammaton, tetragrammaton, refers to the four sacred letters of Hashem's name. And that would be yud hey vav hey. And that is what is used in Lev Shalem. That's what's used in um, Sim Shalom in those um, Sidorim. The thing that really surprised me was uh, it's, and this was online, it said two yuds is not a holy name, merely a substitute for the yud hey vav hey. Oh. And the reason that some books had said use the two yuds is because they said nowadays books are not treated with as great respect as they used to be. And so if you get it dirty or, you know, you're supposed to put the prayer book and the Torah on top of any other books to show respect. But they said in case somebody is disrespecting or not treating the book properly, then um, it's not a desecration of God's name. Hell, so that, I have a question about that. Yeah. I so I have a file with everything I print out that has God's name, right? So I won't destroy it. Um, but what what about deleting a file on your computer that contains God's name? You haven't printed it out. You've downloaded a file. The file has God's name in it. I've scanned something from Sim Shalom. I know that I would I would consult your rabbi because I think that if it's erased from the computer, which is not like a permanent source, it's not a book. It's not printed. I think that's allowed. But ask. I would ask your rabbi. I'm not a rabbi. By the way, in, in Friday morning, we use Sim Shalom. I'm sorry, um, uh, Sador Hadash. And on Friday night, we use Sim Shalom. So, <laughs> so um, Sador Hadash, which says, which means new, but it's not really that new, um, has the, the two yuds. And Sim Shalom has the other ones. So it, we have to be able to go back and forth between the two right. of them. Using both uh, of them. That might just be an editorial decision because yeah. what I said, so I, I, was not, I never wrote two yuds on the blackboard when yeah, I was this teaching. Is, yeah, it's a print book. So. <laughs> but it said it was just a substitute for the yud hey vav hey. Now, uh, so and the other a question comment, is... A comment on the uh, computer. Since they really tell us nothing is ever gone off a computer, Oh my gosh. I think you're probably yeah, safe. Right. <laughs> but that's what I, that's, it's somewhere in a cloud, which is the appropriate place for a chef. <laughs> so I, I have a feeling, <laughs> I, I have a feeling you're okay. All right. So, <laughs> now, okay, so Carol, I found the translation that you gave us. I found it with Adonai spell with an O-Y. I did find it online, the translation. Yeah, great. Gave right. us. So there it is. And there it is with the Hebrew next to it. So okay. Yeah, but that's that's not a very um I mean that would be like Adonai. And we say Adonai. That would be more, it sounds more like old fashioned Adonai, you know. And, yeah, don't forget they wrote like Kabbalah Shabbos or something. That's that's more uh you know orthodox um Ashkenazi. Not only nice Ashkenazi, one. but 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 uh, I thought it was orthodox. a nice one here. I okay. New York accent. Play by the night. <laughs> well, I want to know right. the Hebrew word for unicorn. If it's if it's a real word, then no, I don't. Real. I don't think that's unicorn. Yeah, it's like I know it says like, unicorns, like, but I that I that Lebanon translation Syrian, like unicorns. I don't that I I don't know if that is a good translation for that word. I I doubted that. that. Anyway, places, let me quickly so. explain the yud hey vav hey something. Why why no one asked me why is there two yuds? How does it two yuds? And this is what I found. And I thought this was really interesting. So you have yud, hey, vav, hey. That's God's sacred name. You don't put that on the blackboard. Then you don't erase that. You don't tear something up with it. So God's sacred name, I am what I will be. 
there's a yud at the beginning of that, right? Yud, hey, vav, hey. So now the abbreviation, the two yuds, they take the yud from the first, the first of those four letters, yud, hey, vav, hey, they take the yud. And they say that when you pronounce yud, hey, vav, hey, we're not supposed to try to pronounce it because we don't know how it was pronounced, how it should be pronounced, something special above our knowledge. But we pronounce it Adonai. And when, when you spell Adonai, you spell Adonai with Aleph, Dalit, Nun, Yud. So the pronunciation part, Adonai, it ends with a Yud. So the first Yud comes actually from the first letter of God's special name, yud Hey vav Hey, And the second one comes from the last letter, Adonai, from the pronunciation of the yud Hey vav Hey. Ta-da! I never knew that. Wow. Thank you for asking me the question. I thought that oh, was amazing. Oh, I get it. Thanks, Carol. I thought that was really interesting. Okay, so. Huh. So, Havilad and I, this is a praise of God. And I, if you look at your vocabulary, you, you, if you have your printed out, does anyone know how to sing this? So, the, the first line. Yeah, I mean, Havilad and I. Havilad and I. Carol, you want me to put that up? The, the uh, uh, Ms. Moore David? Ms. Moore David? Ms. Ms. Moore David. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the way we sing it in my, in my show. That's Saturday morning. That oh, uh, that's so the night different. They don't do it prayers. differently. Than mine. Oh, different oh, prayers oh, have a different melody, uh, different days. Like we sing Habuladunai, like Habuladunai Benei, Habuladunai Kavod Baos, Habuladunai Kavod Shemo, Hista Habulad. That's the melody we use. Now, on Saturday morning, we go, I know I, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's so in, in my shul. We don't have a that, different We only Friday. do that Saturday morning. We don't do we do the same one Friday night and Saturday. Okay. Now in some shuls Cantor is doing Broadway. Yeah, well, we're not doing that. So but in some shuls, <laughs> the prayers for different holidays also. They'll take uh Don Olam or they'll take um uh, any of the end, and you can learn, they sing it different. You dial, you dial, Elohim high, da 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 Kavod, uh, honor, and might. So we're attributing those things. Havul Adonai, Kavod, Shemo, acclaim, acclaim God with uh, honor, um, give honor to his name. Hishkach Havul Adonai, Bahadur Kodesh. Um, bow to God um, with splendor. Uh, and um, sanctification and holiness, right? That's like we did from Elena. Kol Adonai Al Hamayim. Now, here we get to the sound effect. <coughs> the voice of God upon the water. So we have a rushing or like the waves that's smacking the waves when you go to the beach and the waves, the turbulent, the, the string. So we just say God is mighty. And here's the, the, the waves and the water. The voice okay, of God is, is upon? upon. Al. Al-Hamayim. Mayim is water. Mayim, Mayim, Mayim. Kol Adonai al -hamayim. El HaKavod. El is God, the holy God. Um, thunders. So you've been to the beach, right? And you've heard that thundering sound, certainly when a storm is coming or when a storm is in process of the water. So El HaKavod, the holy, holy God, is thundering. Adonai al-Mayim Rabin. 
uh, guide on the waters. I'm, I'm just, I'm not even looking at the uh, translation. I'm just doing a rough translation myself. Kol Adonai Bakoach, the voice of God in strength, Bakoach. Also, That's Adonai, I mean, uh, does God um, upon the great waters, okay, like, like at the, the flood, okay? So this is, you could have God looking down upon us after he destroyed us. And he's looking at us. Maybe that's what? the illusion here. Kol Adonai Bakoa, the voice of God in strength. Kol Adonai Behadar in splendor. Hadar. Kol Adonai Shover Arazim, the voice of God breaks um, the cedars. So now up in the oh. mountains, and God, God's voice, it could be the wind, the ruach, it is so mighty, it breaks trees. Vayeshaber Adonai et Arze Havanon, and and breaks and God breaks the cedars of Lebanon. Now it, it identifies where and and Lebanon, uh, of course, to build the temple they would bring. They brought cedars from Lebanon to build Hechal Kodesha. Vayar um, Okay, so rocade. I know Sue, you love the the, the Hebrew meanings. Rocade is dance. So vayar kidem kamo egel, and God is <laughs> God is making dancing, um, making the the uh, waters, the mountains, the mountains, mountains are dancing like a calf. Can, can you say that slower in Hebrew, please? Okay, vayar kidem kamo egel. Egel is a calf. So now we have I elements. Like, thank you. We have elements in nature are dancing. God's, God's uh, uh, animating them with his voice and making, making uh, mountains. In Passover, there's one thing with, and in, in um, Hallel, where the mountains are skipping like rams and like lambs. So the, the mountains are dancing. Um, Lebanon, Vesirion, places in Lebanon. Kamo. Oh, like Eat like a ram. That's, my translation has that. Um, I mean, Lebanon, uh, um, like, like, like calf. not like unicorns. That's yeah, bad. Like, like rams. <laughs> the molecule, like rams. Rams are better than unicorns because I was okay. starting to think maybe we're going to have reference to dinosaurs next. So yeah. Okay. So the next thing, Kol Adonai Chotzev. Oh, so this is the voice of God. Um, Chotzev is now is now uh, carving. Flames uh, with, with fire. lightning. Uh, yeah. oh, well, the, the, Wait, can you say that again for that last? Kol the, last Adonai, the voice of God, Chodsev, is is hewing, is uh, carving. Uh, La flames with flames of fire, with fiery flames, and that's the burning of the Ten Commandments. Okay, that's the the searing of of the uh, stone tablets. Then Kol Adonai Yachiel Midbar Yachiel. So these are not common words. Did I give you Yachiel? Stirs oh, trembles. The yeah, the voice of God uh, trembles in the desert. So it makes things in the desert tremble. I mean, we were in the desert, and the people were trembling at the foot of Mount Sinai. Yachiel trembling. Yachiel uh, Adonai Midbar Kadesh. Okay. Uh, Making a trembling happen in the uh, the desert of Kadesh. Remember Kadesh Barnea. Kol Adonai Yecholel Ayelot. Oh, there's um there's a reference to God's voice. This was weird. Being so strong that it scared a hind, a, the deer. It said the deer had somewhere. Deer had a, a narrow uterus. It it shot the baby out of the deer. The right. hind, Kol Adonai Yecholel Ayalot. Ayalot, Ayal, Ayalot is is deers, deers. Kol Adonai Yecholel uh, makes makes the deer tremble, so she gives birth. Vayechesof <laughs> Yarot. Um, you say that okay. word again, because that was the, the sin with Vaye. Okay, so this is Vayeche. Yes. And now we have a double a double duty dot. So you have the letter sin, and it shares the O vowel with the final thing. 
Vayechesov. Vayechesov. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wrote. Uh, Yaar is a forest, so um, it um, it uh, exfoliates forests. It bears forests. The, the voice of God strips or bears the forests. So like the, the leaves all leave. Yeah, so so uh, the wind of, of his voice that he had before breaking the cedars with his voice, with the sound of his voice, and um, stripping the leaves from trees with a whoosh. And the word ruach means wind and spirit. So that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, ruach is hello. your soul, right? Ruach is your soul? your soul? No, ruach is wind no. and spirit, nefesh. Uh, Nefesh is, is your soul. Yes. 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 Okay. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. That's now the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Lo, and the whole sanctuary um, oh, it, it says, gives honor to him. And, and his whole, and the whole sanctuary pays honor to God because the sanctuary is in honor of God, right? It was built to honor God. Oh. Temple. Hello. And, and God's mm -hmm. temple. Kulo. Complete whole Omer says Kalo. Kalo. but it means and and the the okay. temple gives honor sanctifies God Kalo. God's presence and Adonai Lamabu God uh, to the Lamabu. at the flood at the time of the flood Yashab. sat Yashab sat by Yesha and God sat and and the king melech haolam and god the king of the world sat because he was on high watching us looking at us he could have destroyed everybody and not rebuilt he saw that we had committed sins don't forget you know noah was the best in a bad group of people he was the best of the baddies adonai owes we go back to strength adonai owes uh strength to his nation will give God will give strength to his nation, us, the Jewish people. Adonai Yivarech, God will bless his nation, et amo bashalom. He will give us strength and he will bless us with peace. And it's interesting that after all these crashing and smashing and fire and carving, it ends in peace. It's like, it's like a hurricane took place and the trees are falling and the, and the leaves are all over the place and the lights are out and they're on and they're off. And at the end, it's like, calms down. It's like the symbols crashing. Dee, dee, dee. It's just like a da, 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 da. It's like the waltz of the flowers. Da, 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 da. And then it ends on a piece. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a very, until I saw the translation, but this is a very wild, wild <laughs> way to introduce the piece of Shabbat, if you ask me. <laughs> And right after this, of all this smashing and crashing and lightning and everything, and right after this is Lachadodi. <laughs> and it's nice and calm. And then we bow to the bride, the Sabbath queen. We bow to the bride. And, and we welcome in the tranquility of Shabbat after <laughs> banging. And I, I would like to see this accompanied by... Um, by drums, drums, drum roll, and uh, cymbals. cymbals. <laughs> so uh, maybe you could practice this. I know it's uh, a little after two, but I wanted to give you a feeling of this very peaceful song. <laughs> so those so, of you who come on Tuesday, we'll practice this. We'll do more Scottish again. Yeah, practice the reading, and maybe next time we'll we'll uh, sing it if you can look online and find where it's sung. I may have my cantor singing, and I'm going to see if I have an old tape with that that I'll play for you at the beginning of uh, next week. Huh. But this was good. But could we do a quick, quick run through of singing this? Yeah, but well, the melody that I know is have a lot of what? I mean, is anybody going to services tonight? And you can report back on what melody they use. But yeah, we have we have a totally different memory uh, melody in our services. Yeah. Right. So I would suggest that you look online and find um, because that, like mine is Havuladunai Benei Elim Havuladunai Kavavos Havuladunai Kavavos. I found about different melodies online. So that's yeah. different. 
So some of you are saying you're using uh, the Saturday morning melody for Friday night. That's, that's, exactly. what, that's what we have yeah. How many use that? Raise your hand. I think so. We we'll use that one. Uh, not for Friday. Helene, not for Friday. What do we do for not Friday? For Friday? It goes, yeah. No, for Friday it goes, yeah. Yeah. That's an Israeli dance tune. Yeah, we know that. That's what we do. Our congregation does that one too. We don't do the same one every time. Yeah, now well, I gotta go to services tonight just to hear it. <laughs> that sounds yeah. very um, Yemenite. That sounds very, very like a Yemenite dance. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it would be interesting to compare melodies and come prepared next time, next week, and we'll we'll share some of the melodies, which would really be interesting. So now you have something to listen for. And when you can laugh to yourself, um, as this is the introductory uh, psalm for Lecha Dodi and welcome the, the bride and the tranquility and peace of Shabbat. <laughs> At least it ended on Shalom. And just, a, and just a quick announcement. Um, Jody, who did a fabulous job, by the way, running her intercontinental uh, regional um, meeting. Um, on Sunday night, she asked me to do a program on Jewish gangsters and then asked me to send it out to everybody. So you're all welcome to tune in if you're interested. I'm gonna to try to make it. I'm gonna yeah, try to make it. I mean, is, I'm, doing, I'm gonna do a lot of the gangsters in the Midwest, which I normally don't do. So you're all invited to, to join us on Sunday night. So well, that's, that's great. Well, God willing, i watch because I'm in Detroit and I hear the Purple Gang was a, a hoot. The Purple Gang <laughs> has a segment. They were the worst of the worst. The app. That's what I heard. Gangsters. Oh, that sounds like fun, Helene. Made the mop made made Corleone family look like nothing. Okay, oh, wow. <laughs> that was four brothers. We'll talk about that. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We we will try right. to. I will try to go over the morning's kaddish and um and and we'll go over this quickly next week. But we have to move on. And, yes. and my, on Tuesday, for those of you who come on and join me, you are welcome. I'll send it out to everybody again. We'll go over that, those two um, as well. Right. And we'll, play, and we'll play several melodic versions. I, I don't know that I'll be able to be there because I have to take care of business here. I understand. But I thank understand. you okay. all. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Helene. Thank Shabbat you. Shalom, everybody. Shabbat 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 we did it. We got through it. Yay. Yay. Bye. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.